show you guys what we're working on today. So here we've got the 74 Electra. Uh, this is a really nice car that was it's more or less a survivor, but we're doing a little bit of a rest of mod type of thing with it. So uh, we're doing an LS3 for a lady. Working on getting the inside back together. We've got uh, 17 CTSV seats, front and rear. Uh, the consoles out of the 2022 Camaro. Uh, this is a big block five speed now. This was a four speed. We put a TKX in it. It's a, it's a 454 with a five speed. We've got a CGF front drive. Big radiator. It's got all the, all the good stuff. So we're just finishing this one up right now. It's been cut and buffed. Now we're down to put trim. We've got to put the hood on it, trim, lights, things like that. And then this one will go to some shows this summer. So this is the motor for the Buick. This is a GM LS3 crate motor, 525 horse crate motor. Um, you know, obviously we we put some mid tubes, mid length headers on it, and uh, CBF front drive. And when you get them, they're not complete. It's, you get a long block, so. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta make everything fit in the car. So that's what's going in the Buick with a 4L80, which is around here somewhere. And this is a 65 Continental. Uh, we got this car in. We were gonna originally just kind of repaint it, pull the motor out, have that gone through. And it's pretty much escalated into a full build. The farther we pour into it, the more we found that needed attention or it wasn't done right by the first guy. Like these fenders, when we stripped this car, we didn't really expect to find any of this. And basically what they tried to do is lower the, the wheel lift and they added uh, a handful of pieces in there and it's, it's not good. So uh, this car was fairly rusty. Uh, some areas we figured would be rusty like the rockers are actually pretty nice. The dog legs in and out are rotted out. The, the, Lower rear quarters were rotted in, in an inside and out. So uh, we've all kind of been working on this a little bit here and there. John's been working on it most probably, but uh, I've done a few pieces. Tyler's done a few pieces. John's done a few pieces, and we're getting all the metal work done. And then we're trying to get our gaps set. And we've, as you can see, we've been metal shrinking on this door because these doors, when we block this car, we're gonna block it from one panel to the next as if this gap isn't here. So these doors are very ballooned. They, they bulge naturally. It's like two balloons down the side and this car's gonna be black, so it's gotta be straight. So we gotta shrink all that metal through a heating and cooling process many times. We can shrink that metal in and get it to actually be flat on the side of the car. Over here, John, looks like he's got the floor rotten right now. The floors are fairly rotten, as you can see. He's got he's got some more pieces to make and and see what else he finds there. But uh, once we get the metal work done that we know needs done, and we get our gap set, this is going to end up going on the rotisserie. Uh, the bottom is caked in undercoating, so that'll be fun getting all that off of there. And then back here. Ryan just started walking on this uh, Firebird hood. 
This is uh, a car that we did last year. He's changing the changing the hood up a little bit. So we've got some Buick parts, uh, the Electra that's in the booth. These are, this car's been through the bodywork stage. It's been panel to panel blocked. Uh, all the gaps have been done. So now we're to the point where we take all the panels back off and we look over every edge, the back sides, we seam seal everything, we do a final block, and these pieces will get painted uh, after we paint the car. We're gonna paint the car first because then uh, Tyler can have the car, he can start putting motor trans, putting the car back together as much as we can uh, while I'm painting the rest of the pieces.